do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends so for a reaction to occur and to give a product it is very much essential to give a energy and because of energy only the reaction would react with each other and will give us a product so what is that energy let us see okay friends so to understand what is activation energy let us see the definition of it it is defined as the minimum kinetic energy required for a molecule to collide and lead to a chemical reaction it means we should provide a particular minimum energy to the reacted molecules so that they could react with each other in a such a way that they should give us a product if activation energy or the minimum energy is not being provided to the reactant the reactant molecules will never give the product so this kind of activation energy are basically given or are being present in the reactant molecules when they react with each other so there are many much more terms to conclude a reaction it is not only the activation energy but yes but on the collision also so what is collision and what is collision theory so let us see about it now collision theory says or it predicts that when two molecules when combined with each other they collide and unless they collide with each other the product will not be formed so basically this collision theory is for a bimolecular reaction only and it is not for trimolecules because this kind of trimolecular reactions are very rare in nature so it is basically for a bimolecular reaction so in the bimolecular reaction the reactants will now involved with each other will collide with each other to form to create a particular energy and that energy would help the reactant molecules to gain the energy which is nothing but the activation energy which would convert the reactant into the product so there are many, many much more factors that could depend for the formation of a product and what are those based on collision theory let us see the first one is it only occurs in a bimolecular reaction the second is the activation energy is required the third is the orientation of reactant molecule should be there and the last the potential barrier should crossed by the reactant molecules so let us talk about each and every term in a very deep sense for a bimolecular reactions yes for a bimolecular reactions if i would say that suppose i consider a and b or two types of a this is said to be a bimolecular reaction and if i consider that a will give me a product this can't be happen this will be happen only for the integrated first order of reaction that we have did but for the collision theory it is always limited up to a bimolecular reactions only so for a bimolecular reaction for instance a and b they will collide with each other and will form a product talking about the second one that is activation energy while forming the product the activation energy should be gained by the reactant molecules if activation energy has been produced very much less means not the minimum value that should attain by the reactant molecules then the reaction won't happen if i provide more energy also then the reaction would happen because in that energy there would be a minimum energy that would have been required by the reactant molecules to convert into the product so that means we should provide or there should be the presence of energy for the reactant molecules to give us a product that is known as activation energy and talking about the next one that is orientation this is the main thing that the collision theory says that unless the reactor molecules are colliding with each other in a proper orientation the reaction would not proceed and the product would not be formed so based on that i have given an example in this thing so as to 
make you understand more. Suppose I have given you a bimolecular reaction in which one uh, reacted molecule is nothing but A, A and B, while the other one will be A and B. Suppose they collide with each other, producing a particular amount of energy, but they are suppose colliding in an improper orientation or they are colliding in an improper condition. So what will happen? So according to the collision theory, they will collide, that's true, but the reaction won't happen. So this step is said to be where the two molecules collide with each other and forms a complex. That step is known as transition step or transition state. So the transition state has been formed in this case, but according to the, to the collision theory, they are not been colliding with the proper orientation and hence the reaction won't occur. When I talk about the next one, suppose this one, even this is a bimolecular reaction. <sighs> Even this is a bimolecular reaction in which you can see A, A and B. This is a one molecule which is combining with A and B. They have collided with each other to form a transition state. That is, I am writing it as TS. So if this is a proper orientation, that is when they are colliding with each other, then only the product will be formed. So in case of this, since it is a proper orientation, Suppose if it is a proper orientation, then only the product A and the product B will be formed. So this is the main factor that the collision should happen. So let me give you an example. Suppose if I have took 100 moles of a gas molecules in which the 50% of the reactant would be A and 50% of the reactant would be B. So I am colliding with each other. So it is not always necessary that the 50% of the reacted molecules will collide with the 50% of the other reacted molecule that is B in a proper orientation. So among that only the one only the one which will show a proper orientation along with the activation energy that has been produced or that has been gained that reactant molecules will only give the product while the others won't give the product and others will have to provide the energy the minimum energy and there are possibilities that there should be the proper orientation then only the reaction would happen so this was the theory which was based on colliding of the reactant molecules in a proper orientation and talking about the last that is about the potential barrier what is this potential barrier this potential barrier is nothing when reactant molecules react with each other they should cross a particular potential energy and if they cross that particular potential energy then only they could form a reactant sorry then only they could form a product so i have given a graph mentioned here so as to understand you more suppose i am taking the reacted molecules ac and b and if they are colliding with each other they will form a transition state and let me give you an information that the energy of the molecules that is a AC and B will be less compared to the transition state because transition state is something which is a complex of the reactor molecules and which produces higher energy or which has higher energy compared to the reactor molecules. As at this point you can see the energy that the potential energy is highest so therefore this would be the transition state which has been formed between AC and B. So the difference between the initial reactant energy and 
the transition state is nothing but denoted by delta ea which is known as activation energy or the potential barrier that should be crossed by the reactant molecules so as to give the product as ba and c so sometimes this reactant molecules when crossing this potential barrier produces tremendous amount of heat or can consume the heat also that is it could give an endothermic reaction or an exothermic reaction so the heat produced or the heat lost during this process will be the difference between the initial energy of the reactant molecules and the energy of the product molecules so this is denoted by delta h or change of enthalpy of reactant and molecule reactant molecule and product molecule so these are the main factors that should be affecting in the formation of a product by the reactant molecules according to the collision theory so according to that what we have learned we have learned that for a reaction to occur it should be a bimolecular reaction then only collision will happen very eff uh, effectively the second one that it should have an activation energy that activation energy means minimum energy required by the reactant molecules so as to convert into product the third one will be the orientation orientation means nothing that it should collide with each other in a proper orientation to so as to form a transition state as well as the product if the orientation is not proper then their reaction would not occur and at last that we have studied what is potential barrier potential barrier is nothing but the energy that should be crossed by the reactant molecules so as to form a product so this is the graph that explains the potential barrier energy so these are the factors thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got an idea that what are the factors based on collision theory and what is activation energy so thank you friends for watching this video and please share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much